Assalamu alaikum viewer hi everyone welcome to my channel dr aman's video today we would like to discuss about microscope as you can see this is a light compound microscope which is commonly known as bright field microscope so telling you about the background light microscope is a microscope which use visible light to generate the image of a specimen or an objective which we see under microscope there are two types of light microscope one is stereo microscope and the other is compound microscope so this is light microscope and in light microscope this is a compound microscope by compound microscope we mean that it use a compound system of lenses it means that it uses many lenses to generate the image of an objective or the target objective. So come to the parts of bright field microscope or compound microscope. There are three parts of this microscope. That part is known as head of the microscope. While this part is known as arm of the microscope. And this part, the bottom is known as base of the microscope this arm actually connect base with the head of the microscope practically all the component of compound microscope can be divided into structural component and optical component so starting with the head so head of a binocular microscope as you can see it is a binocular microscope because it contain two eye pieces so these eye pieces contain two ocular lenses which are placed in these tubes so these eye tubes contain two ocular objectives which are commonly known as eye pieces usually head of the compound microscope is adjust for the distance of the distance between the eyes of the different people because we know that the distance between the two eyes of the every person is different from one another so therefore compound microscope can easily be adjusted according to the distance of the eyes and this adjustment is known as intrapupular adjustment or intrapupular no. Secondly, every eyepiece is provided with a ring which is known as adjustment ring. This ring is dedicated for the, you can see that this usually left piece contain this ring. This ring is dedicated for the adjustment of eyesight because it is very often that the eyesight of the two eye is matched usually it is happened that the eyesight of one eye is lower than the other eye so therefore you need to adjust your eyesight inconsistencies with this knob so there is another circular nose piece this circular nose piece usually contain four objective lens these objective lens are provided with different power of magnification the standard compound microscope usually contain four objective lenses 4x that is the smallest label with red color that is known as 4x then you can go for 10x yellow color then green 40x and then white color coded lens which is usually known as 100x or oil immersion lens now other parts this is a stage this is known as stage and if your stage is adjustable with the help of these two knobs then it is known as mechanical stage a mechanical stage is a stage 
which you can move with the help of knob there is a knob which move the slide in left or right direction while another knob knob which move the slide in back and forward direction so this stage is a mechanical stage and every stage contain a clip you can see this is a clip and this clip is known as slide clip because this clip is used to cover or to capture or to hold the slide in a static position on the mechanical stage now this mechanical stage is moved by two no one is used for coarse foxing and the other is used for fine foxing these two knobs are adjusted on a co axis so they are co axis knob therefore you don't need to move hand for different knob so you can easily adjust with the coarse knob and with the fine knob in order to sharp or in order to sharp or magnify the image according to your desire and your eye sights now come to the base the base of the compound microscope always contain a source of light which is known as illuminator so this base generate a light which is passes from another part or component of the microscope which is known as condenser this condenser actually focus the light on the objective placed on the smear and this condenser is also provided with another component which is known as iris diaphragm iris diaphragm is used to adjust the amount of light passes from this illuminator to this specimen so these are the common parts of the compound microscope now something about the power of magnification as we know that these eye pieces are 10x it means that they can magnify the image and on the image of an object 10 times so if you are seeing or examining something under a 4x objective lens it means that this lens has the capacity to magnify an object four time so this will magnify four time and this image will further magnified by this eye lens 10 times so 10 into 4 is equal to 40 time so if you are examining something under a 4x objective lens it means that you are viewing the 40 time larger or magnify image of the object in the questions and so on like if you are examine something with 10x so 10 into 10 is 100 time 40x 10 into 40 400 time and 10 into 100 is 1000 times so the ranges of magnification of a standard compound microscope is from 40x to 1000x these are the common parts of a microscope one important thing that when you focus when you coarse focus a stage so a, a a distance will come that this stage will now move upward because it is fixed by the factory in order to avoid any damage to the slide and to the lenses and a standard lenses are usually provided with a spring like you can see this 40x so when a beginner focus something and it hit the slide so this lens has the capacity to goes inside in order to avoid the damage to the lens as well as to the specimen so we were it was all about the different stages or components of the microscope so therefore it was very important to know about the different components of the bradfield microscopes i hope uh, you will like this video 
and therefore you will subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon in order to get notification for my new videos. Thank you so much.